All right, everybody. The Sharks have arrived. Uh, here's some notes for everybody. This will be their first national championship game appearance. Three times the number one and number two seeds have played in the title game before this week. Back in 16, 17, and 21, this will be the fourth time that number one and number two and the seeds are going to play in the, ch in the championship game. First time in Division II history that the top two scoring teams in the country will face off in the championship game. This is the seventh time that an undefeated team has made it to the final. Five of those teams won the championship game. And for Coach Crutchfield, he's the third coach to take two different schools to the national championship game. So there's some notes for you guys. If you need them, just come up to see me afterwards and we'll hook you up with those. Coach Jim Crutchfield joining us. Also joining us here on the day is Kobe Rogers and, and Dallas Graziani. We'll do what we've been doing all week, guys. We will have Coach with an opening comment. We'll have our student athletes uh, answer questions for a few moments. Then we'll release them and we'll leave Coach here for a few more minutes. Coach, congratulations on a hard fought victory this afternoon. Uh, hard fought, definitely. It, it was a battle. I don't know how it was from your guys' perspective. It was pretty intense. But I felt like the whole game had a, a high level of energy. San Bernardino was definitely one of the most talented teams in the country. They're extremely well coached. Um, you know, doing, Dallas Grazioni was doing the task of like, what very well might be the best point guard, definitely Division II in America. There's not a whole lot of other scores in the game. Um, and he kind of showed that down the stretch what he can do to keep the team in the game. Very talented and uh, you know, hats off to. Bernardino for a great season was part of a great game and a great basketball program. I, I felt like we played hard the whole game. They're tough to keep off the boards. Showed late in the half, but the fact that we were up the first half and all these rebounds was a hand or two. Um, it was a stat that they probably never faced before. I thought we were very energetic. Some second shots. Nah, the difference in the game, I don't, I don't know what it was. It's about like possession by possession. We were fighting small every single time we had the ball. We just didn't look, fighting every possession to keep it. So, next for the basketball. Thank you, Coach. We will now open up for questions for our student athletes and go ahead and kick us off. Uh, so, Cody, I want to start with you just talking about some of all these things the dog fight. I know the first half you went down to just my energy, you know, and you came back and you just fought in the second half. Can you just? Speak to how easy is it to hit the level with these guys around the surrounding and the very same thing? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I have to keep the best of the guys in the country. Um, and so I have to play their own. So just having the confidence in them and the own confidence in them. And just going back to that, so I'm trying to get that. Has anything happened with that? Just the first one that uh, this is a question for Dallas. Uh, Dallas, I've admired your, admired your toughness and your passion uh, over the last couple of days. And then I had the honor of walking up in the stands to get a better view for the second half. And I sat next to this guy who kind of looked like you, and he had the same passion uh, with your brother. And so I'd like to know uh, a little bit about your relationship with your brother and how that impacted your toughness maybe growing up and playing one on one on the uh, on the hard courts because uh, I think you met your match as far as a very good team. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, you know, um, yeah, Father says he can still beat both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw one out at you guys. You you guys are the youngsters of the group that's out there. 
Talk about how much respect you have for the seniors, what they what they continue to do for the program, and how you guys are all meshing in, being you know the way you guys are kind of you know freshman sophomore, their leadership and how you guys have really flourished under that leadership of the upperclassmen. Um, start the practice. Uh, the seniors will spidey and are Coming in as a freshman, I got a lot of things to start with those three assessments. So to see how they how they can behave, how they push. Um, I mean, I can't do it without the fact that all their leaders and give them an action for them and then maybe see them those assessments and then all the money. That was um, I would say I was my freshman year was still good year. About a whole year just practicing with these guys, being around them. That was huge for me. Um, just playing with the bird. Graduated with Smith, huge for us. Um, so yeah, being around those guys, they can get themselves more comfortable. And um, yeah, we'll play with each other. He's an experienced freshman. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. This is his third, he's the third time he's been a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for our student athletes? Okay, coach, we'll keep you here. Gentlemen, congratulations. We'll see you on championship Saturday. All right, let's open it up for questions for Coach. Coach, all five stars for Bill's pick. We were talking before the game about the effort of these guys are going to have the and all in the class. Um, just what do you like from the guys tonight as we get to national championship on Saturday? You know, probably the same thing I like every night. They come out and just play their hearts out. And, you know, there was nobody being selfish. And the effort they give is what we ask them every single night. And it, it was there today. I think that's not even basketball games. You have to work hard and buzzer, buzzer. They do that. Um, Stars did it. Got to call the bench later. So you know, that's what I appreciate most about our players. One more is kind of like a bit of a storyline since we saw Kirby go to the U and now it is against Watts Lily on Saturday. What was that game for you? I didn't watch the first game. Who do we play? <laughs> West Liberty? Oh, I used to coach there. Yeah. Um, I think it. I think it's a, a an interesting matchup because we play in the exact same game. You know, we have the exact same number of assists. We have the same velocity. Um, you know, we both average 100 points a game. So um, I think it'll be an interesting matchup. They've been playing incredible basketball. You guys have seen the last two nights. I watched a few games uh, because I still have an interest in West Liberty. I watched them in the conference tournament a couple of games. They're, they're playing extremely well. They're playing a lot of guys. Whoever comes off the bench just steps into their role and plays great. And uh, it makes it very difficult to guard. And they got guys like Bryce Bummer, who's in the business, hard to guard, but they also have good team basketball. I think it'll be, um, you know, beside the storyline about, you know, I had a career at West Liberty. I was there for 28 years. And you know, my assistant, Jordan P., I played at West Liberty. He was there as a grad assistant coach, also at West Liberty. So, you know, we have our, our ties to West Liberty, and it makes it kind of interesting. But, you know, you only live once, so why not? Let's, let's do it. Coach, real quick, I'm going to piggyback off of that. You don't, don't have an undefeated team without your assistant coaches, and they don't get enough credit that they deserve. Talk a little bit about your assistant coaching staff, you've mentioned them a few times over the last couple of days. And like I said there, yeah, I think they're the best staff in the world. I just don't know that you could have a better coaching staff. Not just because of X's and O's. It's about they're there every single day. You don't just do what you want. They take care of all the stuff I don't want to do, which is a lot of stuff. You know, the stuff that uh, you don't see behind the scenes. Uh, these travel plans, you know, meal money. Um, Eligibility, academics, budgeting, all that type of stuff. The NCAA has rules, rules, and I can count. I'm sorry, Mike, I don't even know the rules anymore. These guys keep up with me. They, they, they keep us you know, in line with the NCAA. They're great with our players. They're there anytime they're needed, and they're incredibly fun to be around. You know, these are the guys that's, you know, I also say when I won a tennis match or a pickleball match, I said, play them. 
So they have that obligation also. Yes, so I really can't describe how much the faculty is winning, but also to the enjoyment of my job every day. Any other questions for Coach? Go ahead. Uh, Coach, you guys are on wing. Uh, I wanted to know if you could speak on our own better than that. So, for example, Paul had a chunk here. I love the thing from me, but also on defense. He was big, such an ugly guy, Paul Trevor, with the feeling of his head. So, can you speak on your own? Uh, I'm not ready to plug the defense specialist yet. And we, we had the rotation going down the stretch, but I had Jake on defense and then Jake on offense. But, um, he's you know, he's a guy that's still in progress of developing his game. And this was a bigger game that he's been in. He had to, had to step up for that. He's more than just making shots. He made some shots, which is big. He has to get rebounds. He has to get stops. He has to make good decisions. Some of the decisions I, I would agree with, some I probably wouldn't. That's part of the growing process. But today is a kind of game that's, you know, with his development, it's hard to have another day like today when you're looking at player as far as character and ability. Any other questions? Coach, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations, and we'll see you Saturday. Thank you.